Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is a formicary acid. Okay, I want first of all, I want to just talk old school. Let's look at this. Here's old school coils. We, we put these in for 50 years. Copper, you had aluminum here, you had tin, you had uh, water setting in the, the uh, pan here. And what was happening, uh, the stuff was corroding and breaking down and we had a lot of coil failures uh, that would sometimes fail, sometimes really in two or three years, sometimes four or five years. And owners will get all mad about, well, you put the system in, how come the coil fell? Well, formicary acid is, a, is something that's a chemical reaction between oxygen and water. And, and then I always tell the customers, because you don't change your filters regularly, it gets dirt inside of it. Let's just look at the bottom of this one. You get dirt inside of it sometimes, which restricts the airflow, which just really evasturates the, the whole process of corrosion and everything. So what happened, the manufacturers were having to pay for a lot of this, the homeowners were having to pay for a lot of this, and so they come up with a better idea. Right here it is. About 2012, most manufacturers switched over to all aluminum coils. Now you don't have the three dissimilar metals. You have aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. So you, now, now, when they first come out, they had to perfect it, and they've got it down now to a science it has cut down coil failures tremendously, which saved the homeowner's money, which saved the manufacturer's money. And I'm gonna tell you something, uh, Rain Corporation and the Goodman Corporation, all that stuff is still American made right here in America. And I wanna show you this picture here. The manufacturer, when they first came out, they didn't make the uh, outside diameter up to 3 8 inch, right? So they were using millimeter. So now what they've done, they've actually started making it much thicker here and they've enhanced the internal components of this particular uh, tube. And uh, you see right here, formicaric acid would only occur when oxygen, moisture, and specific corrodents, usually organic acids, are simultaneously present in copper surfaces. So this right here has really corrected the problem, guys. Here's, here's different diameters. When they first came out, the people were using uh, thinner diameters. This is second generation. This is the same thing right here. It's just a different diameter. And here is the new generation. So, folks, I feel very confident that in the future, homeowners are going to save money, the manufacturers are going to save money, and we as HVAC industry can and take better care of our customers through maintenances, through, through customer service, service calls, through other ways. Okay? If you have any questions, just go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thanks.